Continuing my series feeling how we feel once a day, every day, when we are for the 16th of October of 2020. I feel comfortable today. I feel pretty good. Uh, um, I had a lot of work and a lot of stress this week. So I felt good for uh, Friday to roll around and we'll wipe it all away. <laughs> Can't say it, but I'm going to make a wiping motion with my hand. That's a shame. That Maybe I should have I don't want to quit. Nah, nah. Maybe I'll talk. I can't take it seriously. The only like real thought I had today that might be interesting for you guys, I guess, is thinking about doing hand drawing. Because I kind of get into that multiple times. But like, I, I feel like frustrating. Every time I finish, I finish. I like look at it and I think this is awful. This is something a six year old would draw. And I feel embarrassed. And I don't know. It makes me demoralized. And it, that's the problem with drawings. Like I've seen what like good drawing looks like. Like when I learned how to program computers, they didn't have any concept of what good drawing looks like or how people who are good at it do it. Because you know you don't see that in the sense you know like any would really see it. So maybe if you would, you wouldn't understand it anyway. But no, it's not like that. You can see a drawing and say that's bad, that's awful. And it's I don't know I don't know how to get over that home. But I think maybe if I try to do more days. On my physical drawings, that would, you know, help me out. Maybe help me develop this stuff. It's something I want to do for a long time. I don't know. It, it seems like it'd be a fun skill, and I kind of have fun doing it, but I always feel so demoralized when I finish. I just feel like I'm not doing a good job, like I'm not good at it. I don't know how I get over that, but I guess I might this series. So uh, thank you for watching. If you do, then make sure to subscribe and tune in tomorrow.